Hello golfers, have you heard the phrase getting stuck and wondered if it applies to you? As the topic for this post was getting stuck, I did some research on what people consider getting stuck to mean and why it even matters. There are many YouTube videos on the subject and many reasons why golfers get stuck. Mainly, getting stuck is the better golfer's problem and refers to the club shaft being behind the golfer's body on the downswing, especially halfway down. Why does it matter? According to Dr. Tomasi of Kaiser University, the better golfer will have a push slice as a result of being stuck, while a less skilled golfer will come over the top of the ball and have a pull slice. Many YouTube videos say that better golfers, after getting stuck, find some way to flip the club to prevent a block shot, which would require them to rotate their forearms hard through impact, a last minute and thus unreliable movement, giving both blocked and pull hooked shots. The problem is, folks, the human body cannot simply do this or do that from the top, as most people believe. The design of some joints physically prevents it. Moreover, the controller or central nervous system has a general program in mind, no pun intended, that utilizes muscle synergies to create action and that action is often dependent on existing constraints including the musculoskeletal constraints of the body. Let's look at why do this, do that does not really work by studying none other than the GOAT, greatest of all time, Tiger Woods, who tells us of his stuckness issue in his own words. Incidentally, do you like the new word stuckness? While many stuck golfers, including many professionals, are stuck for another reason which I will discuss in my next post, Tiger Woods' case is rather different. To understand why his case is different requires us to first understand what possible options the central nervous system has for any golfer to bring the club down to the ball from the top. The requirements of the downswing are to shift weight back to the lead side, to drop the raised trail shoulder down, to unrotate the rotated torso and to straighten the bent trail arm. If rotation is a golfer's first downswing move, they will have an over-the-top movement as many beginners do. If a slightly better golfer strives to have the club shaft arrive from the inside, he or she will either rotate the pelvis quickly and aggressively at the start of the downswing or slide sideways with the lower body so the upper body can drop down or both. If a golfer's first movement is a forceful pelvic rotation, because pelvic and thoracic movements are highly coupled, the thorax will rotate too and the trail shoulder moves excessively forward causing a trail shoulder blade protraction which can then result in the club shaft hanging back and being stuck. That is not however the main reason why Tiger gets stuck although that is what he believes according to the video. This of course is what his swing looked like 10 years ago. Although he believes it is because of pelvic rotation, his stuckness is actually because of his lateral slide, which you can better see from this overhead video. His trail side torso side bends and hangs back while the lower body has moved forward, creating a loss of dynamic balance, which is the main cause of Tiger's club shaft being stuck behind him. The solution recommended to Tiger was apparently to bring his arms and shaft in front of his body in the downswing and try to keep his hips completely still. These are not good things to do and he does not really achieve them as he himself admits in the video. He also says that he has lost 15 to 20 yards while doing that. What Tiger needs is to have his upper and lower body stacked one above the other from address to impact to improve the efficiency of his ball striking and reduce the loads on many of his joints, including his low back. To better understand stuckness, folks, is to understand the difference between cause and effect. To try to change the effect of anatomically inappropriate positions that have been acquired at the top of the backswing is the same as telling a golfer to keep the head down in the downswing. That is just silly. 
the head is lifting up because it is being forced to as the central nervous system uses all the resources at its disposal to somehow try to deliver the club as close to the ball on the ground as possible moreover if the golfer is a non beginner the central nervous system will try to deliver the club not just close to the ball but also from an inside path rather than from an over the top out to in one and when exaggerated that creates a stuck position what then is the solution to being stuck what it certainly is not is to bring the hands and arms down in front of the body as that can result in a too steep approach to the ball practically like delivering a hammer to a nail there would not even be the slightest shallowness of the club shaft at halfway down which is needed for an inside path also there would be a complete disconnect of the arms and the body at a time when the body must make a small forceful pulse to pull the arms through impact to produce a maximally efficient impact the only solution is prevention not cure and the only way to prevent being stuck is by being in the right place at the top of the backswing so that no compensations ever are required from the top to impact and all body parts cannot help but fall in the right order at the right time much like a stack of dominoes in such a scenario one muscle group pulls the next one along because of common fibers causing relevant joints to move in correct sequence i specialize in a swing that does just that so contact me to know more so golfers if you are not stuck in the same manner as tiger which is probably the case as few can be as gifted as he is to keep the torso rotated away from target while his hips slide sideways and back my next post is just for you using jordan speeth as an example